Uh, hi, I'm Lisa. I'm studying sustainable development at Utrecht University and I'm in the second year. And I'm originally from Tokyo, Japan. And yeah, I came here last year. Uh, I will introduce Midori Takada. She is a yeah, female artist and she's originally from Osaka, Japan. Uh, her music is more instrumental and uh, experimental i would say although uh, she made that like the best album like 20 30 years more, more years ago it's interesting because she was not very recognized by like japanese population before instrumental or experimental music is not in like up front but it's more like uh, hidden but there are various various music in japan like japanese music scene so yeah, it's interesting. She got like uh, attention again, like only five years ago, or something on YouTube by chance. But uh, it's not like popular music that we are like used to listen to. So it's not. It will not be like mainstream. But some people would uh, like it a lot, definitely. Specific sound, maybe percussion, is similar to Japanese traditional music, but it can be similar to other kind of uh, ethnic music. So I'm not sure if she is like uh, trying to reproduce Japanese sound. It's very soothing and mysterious at the same time. So actually, I didn't know about her before. But with this opportunity, I learned about her and I start listening to her music and I, I'm very impressed. I want to listen to her music again when I want to just get relaxed or something. Yes. <laughs> uh, then here we cut it and then um, we're good. Cool. Yay, thank you. <laughs> uh,